good day to all my emperors and empresses, gods and goddesses, kings and queens, princesses and princesses, bitches and bitches. Now, I'm not going to hold y'all up. I was just feeling a very strong energy of regret. energy because I'm gonna calm down here because it, it was it was pretty strong like uh, a mother feels like they can't protect their cubs because of what happened years ago and I know the energy because you know I feel the same when it comes and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's time to stop sugarcoating. Um, a mother feel like they, because of, of under manipulation, you feel like you can't protect your cubs. Now your cubs, when I say cubs, I'm talking about children. Now your cubs or your children are up under the roof of someone else. And literally... Um, you are being treated as if you're on drugs or something of that nature. You see, when you tell the truth about, because even in 2017, when I told the truth about my daughters being molested and people are going to be uncomfortable about your story and it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, children deserve to be with their parents or their mother. The end of the day. And I'm going to try to do this without tearing up. But remember what I told you, just because you see me cry does not mean that I'm weak. It means, it means watch out for that ass. When they're up under the roof of someone else, and this is a lesson to y- to y'all too, do not allow your families to do whatever they want to do with your children when it comes to your children because at the end of the day, you are their parent. And you are an example of your children. When you allow your family to do whatever, then they really begin to take the control to the next level. This is why it's important to nip it in the bud. As much as you feel like you need to run away, running away is not going to solve the problem, especially if your children is with the victimizers. So, These people put fear in your children on purpose. Your children could be been with them for a year or two, maybe even three. Three, three, three on the clock. And the perpetrators are now cranking the punishment, cranking the harassment, cranking the sexual assault up. And it's like you go and you try to get assistance and you don't know where to turn where to go because it's like there's no assistance out there for you trust me I've checked and if you know anything please put it in the description box because a mother of six well one that I'm having is very interested because in 2017 when that happened to me and they gave me a whole shot that took me that deteriorated me you can go look at some of my old pictures on instagram and even of my children from then to now that shop took me down so I was feeling an energy of, I I can't even protect my children from stupidity without 
feeling like I want to do something of rage, of snap, you know, like the camel, the straw that broke the camel's back. When you tell your story, people are going to be very irritated by you because it's telling on them. It's telling on them and who they are. Even family members, because like I said, I'm the oldest of eight and even sometimes um, I had to lift even an older sister of mine when she had, I mean, when she had to stay with me, I had to up, uplift her. But then she was trying to fuck on my mans. Whatever. To each his own. Protect your children nipping in the bud the first time. The first time when they even sent me to the institution. And... I have my children, but they gave me that shot that it's called in Vega. They gave me the shot regardless of if I wanted it or not. It was kind of like a force upon, kind of like mental institution rape. So now you got to worry about the molestation and the rape outside of, outside of that. And then you have to worry about the <sighs> mental institution rape. different form of rape only if i mean if y'all know or ever had to go through you know jail time jail time or you know whatever whatever hospitals do it i didn't seen a hospital do it to a man before i mean not sexually assault him he actually the year of 2017 i don't know if i'm take, taking this off track or not but a man was in a wheelchair and he said that the police came and just took his money and he was molested or raped <laughs> or something like that. I was, you couldn't help but hear him. The girl on the side of me, she was claiming some shit. This, this world is crazy. It is. real foolish but people are putting the fear in our children this is for mothers or fathers who don't have their children right now and then it's just so much so I'm going to the most high I'm talking to the most high because I'm like damn why I gotta feel like this the most high gave me a word The word. Random word. I promise you, I ain't set it up. I, I ain't got time to set it up. I don't set people up. I ain't got time to set people up. That's what the most high here for. <sighs> the word I went to. I'm just going to read the whole thing. And then when I when I go to the one that I really just okay. Isaiah 49. Promise of restoration. This is what the Lord says. At just the right time I will uh, I will respond to you. This is what the Most High has given me. This is what Wanderer gave me. At just the right time, I will respond to you. On the day of salvation, I will help you. I will protect you and give you to the people as my covenant with them. Through you, I will reestablish the land of Israel and assign to it its own people again. I will say to the prisoners, come out in freedom and those in darkness come into the light. They will be sheep grazing in green pastures and on hills 
they and on hills that were previously bare. They will neither hunger nor thirst. The searing sun will not reach them, will not reach them anymore. For the Lord in his mercy will lead them. He will lead them beside cool waters. Now, I didn't read that whole thing. Take it to 12. Okay. And I will make my mountain in level path for them. The highways will be raised above the valley. See, my people will return from far away. From land to the north and the west. And from as far south as Egypt. Now, sing for joy, O heavens. Rejoice, O earth. Burst into song, O mountain. For the Lord has com confronted his people and will have compassion on them in their suffering. So I'm like, damn, Wander, you you be hitting the spot. Because I won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Won't ever stop. Never stop telling your story. Never stop telling your story. Because the truth is going to make other people upset. Because you're telling on them. That's why. That's why. The most high lets everything happen in divine timing. Yeah, it's some impatience here. They And they want to hurt you. They want to harm you. I'm seeing music notes. I don't know that's what that's for. Maybe somebody's writing a song. Wander. I'm seeing music notes. I just like, just seeing music notes in my head. Maybe somebody is writing a song. Maybe somebody's writing music notes. I just seen a butterfly. Hmm. Butterfly. That's metamorphosis. That's the full stage. It's not like I just seen a caterpillar and he was black. So protection. Black butterfly. <laughs> Probably even had spots. Wander. Something upon this message that I just read that you you basically about to rescue people when they need rescue. Don't need don't don't feel discouraged, y'all. Never feel discouraged. Wander message, please. It's nothing for you to feel discouraged about. We really coming up out of this up out of this like healing. I mean, seriously, y'all. How many more people did I have to tell? I even went to California and told somebody. <laughs> they still couldn't help me. That's something. I feel like someone's watching me. They always watching. They gonna watch. They gotta make sure. They gotta check up on you. For real. They don't want, you see how all this, all these people in the world, people on drugs. They felt like they couldn't tell nobody their story. So instead of telling people their stories, they chose drugs. Because of their pain. Closing in their pain, hurting themselves. People can't tell their story. They die. Pill overdose. They commit suicide. People who can't tell their story and keep it all boxed in. Y'all brave. Y'all some brave motherfuckers. For real. To tell your story? That's self-love right there. 
Because you can't just have people just keep walking over you. Hey, motherfuckers out there who taking shit personal, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal that they that that you got the self love for it yourself. It's telling it's telling on them. Don't take what they do personal. They need not to take it personal too, but they taking it personal. Two can play that game. I'm not fucking playing the same energy from yesterday. Do not take personal what these people are doing. Keep telling your story. Hell, even if they try to snipe you out and kill you tomorrow or today. At least some, the next person to know. They can't kill us all. Like what Bob Molly said, you say, or uh, uh, oh no, that was that was walk like a champion, talk like a champion. Kill us today, you cannot kill us tomorrow. That's um Bingy, 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 Bingy. Walk like a champion, walk like a champion. Kill us today, you cannot kill us tomorrow. You can't kill everybody. You can't kill them all. It was 12 disciples, motherfucker. Two can play that game. Don't take it personal. When you start telling on people, what do we do when we children, y'all? And somebody going to something. Oh, you want to something? Oh, please don't tell. 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 This them. But imagine grown motherfuckers doing this. But not in that way, in a different way. And then they torture the children. And then you make a mother feel like. Why do people play with mothers and their children? And I'm and I'm foretelling y'all, warning y'all, if you have children and you like to be around your family all the time, you better break that cycle. Especially if it's not a mother or, or, or parents of um Shit, I don't know because I never dealt with it. I only see it in movies. Supporting mothers and stuff like that. Not mothers who low-key know that their sons is rapists and try to protect them. Or know that their husband is a rapist and try to protect them. Or <coughs> know that the uncle is a rapist and try to protect... I don't, I don't know I don't know no upstanding women that speak up for what's too much right. Only what I see on YouTube and shit like that. So, standing up for yourself is self-love. It's self-love. And they try to play dumb like they don't see you. They know what's going on. You can tell. You can sense the energy. You ain't no fool. Don't take don't take things personal. You don't take it personal or them. They battling. They got issues. But your jail time don't have shit to do with me and your issues. Same energy. Most High only gave us three. Thank you, Most High. We appreciate it. End of the day, nineteen ninety three might be significant for somebody. Somebody might be 60 up in this bitch. And we got 48. Or the person was born in 1960. We got 48. 1948. They might be 48. Ooh, somebody is like... They angry. They want to kill somebody. Because they like, uh-uh, I don't want to go to jail. Well, you don't want to go to jail. Yeah, they furious. Somebody is furious. I'm going to flip these over. Yep, I ain't got to lie. Narcissists, they either drinking and smoking like a motherfucker. They out here raping children. They don't feel royal. And they want their thoughts to stop. They got, they, they got, they look bad. They out here looking bad. 
Royals in reverse, by the way. And they like turn my thoughts down. Some people not even thinking. I'm just getting a real childish energy. Hurtful energy. I'm also getting the energy that when somebody think of something or when a certain something, like something is a, a flash to them and their inner thighs begin to hurt or their, or a left, your left thigh began to hurt um, because you was sexually assaulted or taken advantage of as a child. I'm getting the energy of that too. Sex being sexually assaulted and flashback come like damn and it's a trigger for you and i was also getting the energy when certain songs play you get uncomfortable you don't want to hear the song because it reminds you of sex something that's sexually assaulting somebody sexually assaulted you it's either an uncle a father or a grandpa Take your pick. Or all three. 21, 21. Might be significant for somebody. I'm hearing somebody call somebody a monkey. Mm. Self-love. I just seen the three of cups. Cancer energy. Communication. Self love. I'm seeing somebody talk to their self here. Self love, please wander in reference to what's going on. Um, the script, everything in which I just said for the first eight minutes or nine. It's not even about money. It's about healing. The whole time, and I'm just going to speak from my heart on this, I thought, like, if I get on YouTube and do these videos, raise some money, I'm just going to be real with y'all, that I could get, that I could buy a house, you feel what I'm saying, and get my children back, and everything could be did, said and done. But you know what? At the end of the day, I used to think back then, too, like, damn, saving my children there's a lot of children out there being raped and assaulted and and taken advantage of the other day when i went to go get the fish yesterday when i was telling y'all that i was going it was a mother in in the store she was in the store with her children she had her three little cubs and she had her boyfriend and her man right there so the main the, the one of the girls the oldest girl she had to be about six or seven years old and she had a hat on. The mama knocked the hat off her fucking head. Like, why you got on this hat? I was like, okay. Instantly in my head, I'm thinking like, you mean little bitch. That's what I'm thinking. Because I'm like, what the fuck you got to be mean to your daughter for? 23, 23 might be significant for her. And the daddy like, why you doing that? Uh, she she wanted to wear the hat. I told her she could wear the hat. It pissed me off what the mother did. So... The daddy just went to go sit down because he, I can sense his energy. He felt uncomfortable after that. He was feeling uncomfortable anyway. After I came in, I could tell he got uncomfortable. So then she, and this is a bigger woman, not saying that her weight matters, but she was a bigger woman. And then she proceeded to pay for her food with her um, food stamp card. And then he, then she needed $3 to cook. He, he, she asked for the $3 from the man. The man gave her 50, I believe. She said, can I keep the change? Like a fucking child. And he like, no, I want my change back. Some of these women be asking, be trying to, like, that's not your daddy. Her, her hair not done, but your nails is done. It pisses me off when I see a mother with her hair done, but the children aren't done. They're a, rep they're a representation of you. When my children were with me, they never not had their hair done. And I had five girls. One day I knocked all five of them out and myself, meaning hair, because I'm a cosmetologist. 
I used to do hair real strong until the passion left. The suffering left, I should say, because passion means suffer. So, it pisses me off to see a mother with her hair done and then their hair not done. I kind of grew up like that in a way. In high school, my mother used to come up there. She looked good as fuck. You couldn't tell her nothing. But you see, my mother, she didn't have a life. She had me at 17, and then, like I said, her and my father are 10 years apart. So she experienced the slavery times, if you ask me. And what I mean by slavery times is if he's 23 and she's 13, what the fuck? You know? This is like Hoppo and Seely. Hoppo and Seely in the flesh. So she didn't experience high school. So not experiencing high school, she was up at my school damn near every fucking day flossing. Had the baddest of the baddest coats on. One time my friend asked me, or um, associate, I'm going to call her associate. One time an associate asked me, why your mama look like that and y'all look like that? You see, my mother had eight children. I'm the oldest of eight, if I didn't say that before. So when you in a whole family dynamic of um, narcissists, because that's just what it is. It is what it is. And this is a love message. But when my children are involved, this flips to, it can flip to hate real quick. Because it's like, damn, the people that you trusted is the people that stabbed you several times. And now you're trying to get the knives out your back and figure out if you should stab the motherfuckers back. We ain't gonna lie like we don't think, come on. Hell, the Green River Killer can think crazy. Why the fuck? What the fuck? This person needs help. And I don't know if it's me or them. <laughs> Ain't it something? Strength. Trying to keep strong. Keep, I keep holding on. With child now, that's nobody's fault but my own that I laid down. And got all them children. Yeah. But I love every last one of my children. And and all and they're all. And I love them differently. Because they're all differently. They're all different. In their own way. I don't treat her like her. Because she she's not quite like that. I might have to spend a little bit more time with her. She likes dancing. She likes coloring. She likes dancing too. Oh I know that she's a writer. I'm that mother. What are you doing? Stop, Joy. Don't do that. Okay, Joy keeps doing it, right? Twirl, 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 twirl. Bus. Most I said it had to happen. Joy, bus. Jo One time, Joy, when we were in our last apartment, my daughter Joy turned around, did a full spool. I said, keep on turning. Joy, don't do it, babe. Babe, don't do that. You're going to hurt yourself. She did it again. And she busts her chin. She's a hard learner. She has to learn hard. I respect that. I didn't, I'm not going to beat her ass. One time. I'm just going to tell this because it's true. I went over to my parents' house to see, to see my children. Because sometimes it's kind of, you know, it's kind of difficult sometimes going and see them. It is because they won't let me see my son, period. Point blank. I can't see him. But the girls, they let me see. So, my daughter, she had, uh, uh, um, I guess she was playing with cord, the, my joy, and it wrapped around her neck, and she had a, a, a abrasion around her neck. I said, what the fuck? They whooped her for it. This is gonna cut off. But they whooped her for it. I said, what the fuck? I said, y'all never, I confronted them. And I said, you never spanked my children before when I was in y'all presence. So why do you spank them now? My father got really angry. I didn't whoop her. <laughs> Your mother did. Like what keeps you from?